Hi, my name is Brett with Anvil, where we turn research into results that matter. Today, I'm going to talk about the use of the Mac trash can. I prefer to call it the recycle bin. The use of the Mac trash can allows you to store files in a temporary location that you don't need for the moment, or if you don't need them permanently, you can delete those files. If you have an item that is no longer in use, what you can simply do is you want to control click, and in the drop down menu, it's going to give you a move to trash, and you just simply move it to the trash. There is an option that you can use to permanently permanently delete your file if you don't want to drag to the trash. You're going to click on the file and then you're going to hold option, command, and delete. You're going to get a warning from your computer saying, do you want to permanently delete this item? And then you can click if you're comfortable with deleting this. So your Apple computer gives you the option to hold items in the trash can for up to 30 days. If you want to turn that on, you simply go to Finder and then you select Preferences. And then after that, you'll select Advanced and then you'll select Move Items Out of the Trash after 30 days. If, for example, you have a file or an item that you would like to retrieve from the recycle bin, you just simply click on the recycle bin, go to the item, and then you're going to go to the drop down that says put back and it returns the item back to the location where it was originally. I definitely wanna say you wanna keep control of the files that are entering your computer that you're using day by day because these files are constantly being built up whether you notice it or not. So it's very important that you consistently clean and I always like to organize my files. And a part of organization is moving things to the trash. When I first started using Mac computers, I had issues with storage space so i would delete items and drag them into the trash can i didn't know this wasn't taking the files permanently off my computer so it was still showing up as being a part of my computer in the storage and it had not been permanently deleted this also applies when you are using external drives if you take a file from your external drive and throw it in your trash can it's still going to be stored because you have not deleted it permanently once it's deleted out of the mac trash can or the recycle can then it will no longer be part of your storage or take up that space my advice to you is you are absolutely sure before you delete for a second time in your trash can just remember this your computer has just a limited amount of storage you know i recommend a terabyte at least of hard drive space but if you don't have that you want to use this trash can on a regular basis